So it doesn't completely fit in the camera, but I just got an XP pen artist. 15.6 Pro and I got the holiday edition. So this is basically a gift for myself. <laughs> I've never actually owned a drawing tablet with a display before. I've only had the ones that don't have display. This is a big, 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 big step for me. I am very, very excited, <laughs> extremely excited. Oops, let's get started. It's big. It's so big. So here is the display. Because this is the holiday edition, uh, the only difference is that the little red button comes with like a XP mascot. It's really, really cute. We also have this stand. These thing as well, I'm, I'm actually not sure what these is. We have a big, really pretty enamel pin. Okay, so I believe this must be the plaque so it comes with the european version it comes with the uk version this one i'm not sure and then we have the pen holder which i believe includes the pen on the inside let me check that out Ooh, how do i okay so there's pen nibs on this end oh there we go here's the pen it's beautiful so now we have this which i'm gonna guess it's it contains instructions and maybe we'll see and then this which is going to be the bunch of cables that you need to plug it into the laptop and etc etc this little box comes with more freebies more fun stuff so let me show you we've got a little wipe and it has, I'm not sure if you can see it on the camera, but it has like a little, oh, there we go. It has like the little mascot and it says XP pen on it. It's, it's very sweet. This is to download the driver. So I'm gonna keep this handy thing on this side. The warranty. Oh, that's cute. Little postcard. No, don't blow away. Stay with me. Ooh, the drawing glove. Ooh feels weird but there we go drawing glove boo, boo, boo. oh and the, we've got a 2020 calendar handy oh this is really really pretty check these out may the seasons joy feel you all the year round this is cool i'm actually gonna put it on the side so i think now i've shown everything i'm going to install it and i'll be right back when i'm done Welcome to the inside of my screen. Here you're watching literally the first ever drawing I've ever done with this tablet. You probably think my choice is a little bit weird because I just went for fish, but there's a reason behind it. So I have this really wonderful book that's called Designing Creatures and Characters, How to Build an Artist's Portfolio. It's by Mark Holmes. And it's an amazing book, it's really fun. It's full of projects, it's full of different art projects for characters, for creatures. And the book challenges you to get out of your way as many designs as possible to get the best ideas out of you. And just started working with this book. And the first project that I decided to tackle from the first section of the book, it's one where you're meant to design fish for a specific environment. And I decided to go for fish that live in the lava rivers of Hades. I don't know if you know, but Hades has a total of five different rivers. They're called Acheron, Cocytus, Phlegathon, Le Lethe or Lethe, and Styx, which is the famous one. I decided to go for Phlegathon. And the reason why was because I read some really cool things about it. One of the things that really caught my attention was I read that on Dante's Inferno says that the river is very deep and well, it's not super deep. The, the river is made of lava and the more violent you've been during your life, the more you sink. And Dante says that he could see Hitler and someone else and he could only see their eyebrows because they had been so violent they were completely sunk.
Now that we've set a little bit the context of these illustration, let me talk a little bit about the actual fish creatures that I created. So the first one that you've seen um, was mainly inspired by rock and magma. Like the, the fish is made of rock, of a rocky material, but there's really incandescent glowing stone on the inside and there are some fire bursts and sparks that come out of it that have sort of the shape of the tail and the fins of the fish. This lovely creature is inspired by a rockfish, by an actual rockfish, and it has this grumpy face and it's made of rock, it's a tough guy. There is cracks on his body where you can see the heat and you can see them glowing. The second fish that I worked on sort of made of steam. I wanted it to be eerie and floaty and a bit ethereal, which is why it has this flowy shape. And I think I took most of the inspiration for this particular creature from moraines and eels. And the idea is for it to be done sort of off steam. This fish is not living inside the river, but it's like floating on top and it interacts with the nature that lives inside the river. working on these steam fish and I wanted it to be flowy. I took inspiration from eels and moraines of course, but I also added some sort of like dragon facial features to it. I like to think of it as a bit semi-transparent, which is what I was trying to achieve with these colors. I wanted it to be see-through and maybe slightly glow, which is why I gave it this darker shade on the inside and then it goes lighter and fades out as you go towards the tail and towards the outside.
very last one is actually the very first fish that I designed after the first studies in fish and stuff. And I came with a concept for this fish when I was making some fire studies and I was trying to figure out how the flames work and how do they behave as they go up. And I started having a look into how would something look like if it was emitting flames but also moving so the flames would be shaped in a curve following the trajectory of the object that's moving with them. And when I was doing that study, I one of the shapes that I did looked like a little fish without a tail. Uh, like imagine if the if the tail was really long and it didn't have the final fins, but it's obviously a tail. And I just love the idea. So I, I came up with this concept, which is this really cool fish that it's a fish made of sparks or it has to do with sparks. And I can imagine a bunch of these little spark fishes traveling together and jumping around and going up and down. They're really jumpy and they, they live in the upper layers of the river. They float towards like close to the surface and they love to jump up and down, jump up and down, just like sparks do. And as you can tell, I went for a similar color palette to the first fish, but I introduced a little bit of blue because blue in candles, it's technically the hottest bit of the candle. And I just thought it gave it a little bit of extra pizzazz. And I really like the way it looks like. And here's the three little guys that I created. I need to create a lot more. The book asks you for, I believe it's 15 ideas and that's the very first tier. But this was a very, very good first experience with this brand new tablet. I can't wait to do more creations and to try different things and learn and grow in the process. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me draw these three little fun fellas. And I hope to see you in my next video. Have a lovely 2020.